So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. And tonight is August the 5th, 2021. The topic for this evening is universal power. So just want to backtrack a little bit is that last week um, I talked about ultimate power. So there is actually a few points within our body and there is an ultimate power point, power center, which is um, just, a, just above the, our eyes in our head. And it is towards the middle of the, the, the brain and just above the, the eye level, there is a, such a center, the ultimate power center, which when you activate it, you can start to um, give it some command to start to reset and heal your body, whether it is particular points, um, for example, kidney, left kidney, right kidney, lungs, all the other parts of the body, because this ultimate power center knows a lot about your body. It knows everything that is within your body, how to reset, how to um, bring your, your organ back into um, being more balanced. And together with two other points, one other point is the, the ultimate power supply, which gives which really supplies the, the energy for the ultimate power center to do work, to, to um, reset your body. And then also the ultimate love connector, which is really energetically to link up all your cells so that your body works together. When the, when the ultimate power center starts to do work, it links your body together so that um, when it gives a command, um, different parts of your body, your cells, your different systems would know what needs to get done in order to reset your body. So we have that power to heal ourselves innately and that is really one of the ways i'm not saying that the ultimate power center is the only way it is one of the ways that our body knows how to how to reset and regenerate itself and so the ultimate power line which includes all those three different points that i've mentioned is one of the energy lines um, that is within our body and it deals with the physical part of the body. What about the non-physical part of the body? Because there's a lot of, of um, things within our body that is non-physical and even around our body there we have an aura. So those things are not physical. So within our body, we actually have different energy centers that links us up to the non-physical part of us because we are more than just this body. So this is what I'm going to talk about for this evening, which is something called the universal power line. And the universal power line, similar to the ultimate power line, has three points. And it's, it's kind of very um, analogous to that. The first point, the, one of the more, most important part of this universal power line is the universal power center. So where is the universal power center? So let me actually... Um, Let's see, I think it's this one. Oh, no, it's not this one. It's the other one. This is the one. Yes. So where is the universal power center? Remember last week, 
I mentioned that the universal power of the ultimate power center is the, the smaller one, which is just um, in the middle, in between the hippocampus, the left and the right hippocampus. Is, that's, where the, that's where the ultimate power center is. And just above and a little bit behind the ultimate power center, is the universal power center. And if you look at it in this, in this um, illustration, it's the larger white dot in the middle of the brain. That is where the universal power center is. And to look at it from the side view, it is this bigger white dot here that is um, a little bit above and a little bit behind the ultimate power center. That's, that is where the universal power center is. And another way of locating it is that if you kind of just um, use your fingers to, to touch in between your eyebrows, in your forehead, you would find that there is a flat surface in between your eyebrows as a flat surface. And if you kind of um, feel around it, it actually has the shape of a triangle. So the two, the left and the right brow, kind of a little bit um, at the beginning of the brow is where the, the, the base of the triangle is. And if you kind of move your finger up a little bit, you would find the, the tip of that triangle, the apex of that, that triangle. So when you find that and you just use that level, use that point and imagine if you can move from that point to the middle of your head. That is where the universal power center is. So let's try to actually wake up this universal power center. So everybody just kind of drop down into your body, just drop down in your, into your body and just relax. And just breathe in a couple of times, just breathe in deeply and exhale completely and then breathe in deeply again, just to calm yourself down a little. And then just say this to yourself internally. Five, two, eight, universal power center, activate. And then repeat this to yourself a few more times. Five, two, eight, universal power center, activate. Five, two, eight, universal power center, activate. Just be patient. It usually takes about 60 to 90 seconds. And you feel within your head, there is a pulse. And that's your universal power center coming online. So at first you may feel that the pulse is not too strong. It's, it's a little, it may be a little faint at first. That's okay. Just keep on setting that command to yourself to five to eight universal power center, activate. And the more you repeat that, the more you do this, practice this, 
the stronger this pulse would become. And also remember that the ultimate power center knows where everything is. So if in doubt, all you need to do is actually activate the ultimate power center and get your ultimate power center to assist you in locating the universal power center. But most, most of the time though, you should, when you do the 528 universal power center, activate and just be a bit more patient. You would start to feel that pulse. And the longer you, um, the more patient you have, the longer you hold that intent, the stronger the pulse becomes. So this is the universal power center. And so let's move on to the next point. The next point is the universal power supply. So where is that? So let's just, um, the, next, um, the next diagram is, if you remember, the ultimate power supply is four fingers below your belly button. So three fingers below your belly button is where the universal power supply is. So it is about one finger above the ultimate power supply. That's where the universal power supply is. Now I did, did mention that the, um, the point, the, the actual point of the actual uh, universal our supply point is actually within the body. So there is actually, um, so this diagram you sh is shown is that this is kind of the side view of, a, of the human body. And the, the, there are two lines in the middle, if you, if you can see that. The line that is closer to the front of this cross section, this human body, that one is the ultimate power line. And the one that is kind of behind a line or behind the ear, so about one and a half inches behind the ultimate power line is the universal power line. So which is this longer one, darker one. So this is the universal power line. So the universal power supply is about three fingers below the belly button and it's within. So it's actually closer to the spine. So it's within the body and the location is three fingers below the belly button. That's where the universal power supply is. So let's now do this. Let's now wake up the universal power supply. So once again, just take a deep breath in. Let it all go. And this time, five to eight, universal power center activate. Five to eight, universal power supply activate. And keep on repeating this five to eight, universal power supply activate. You would feel that there is a pulse. that is within your body. It's for myself, I do feel that the, the, the power supply points, whether it is the ultimate or the universal power supply points, those two points, the pulse is a little bit more 
subtle than the ones in my head. Maybe it's just me because my head is more sensitive, so I can actually feel it more. However, it may be different for you. Maybe you actually can feel the universal power supply just as, if not more, distinct of a pulse. So just keep on calling 528 universal power supply activate. So similar to the ultimate power supply, the universal power supply actually brings energy in from the tip of your toes through both sides of your legs until it goes to the universal power supply point. And also from above, from your head, it pulls in energy that goes, that drops in, actually drops in into your body slightly to the right of the middle of your head and it goes to the back of your head and then it moves inside your body until it goes to the universal power supply point and it meets up with the energy that is coming from the feet. So the more you activate the universal power supply, the easier it is that you can feel the universal power supply point pulsing. And you can also feel it more in the universal power center as well, because as, the, as you get more energy pumping in, it actually activates the universal power center as well. And so last but not least, let's now bring in the third point, which is the universal love connector. So the next point, the third point on the universal power line is the universal love connector. And yes, you guessed it. It's slightly above the ultimate love connector. So if you look at it, um, it is just maybe about a finger below the, the nipple line, but in the middle. And also if you look at it, um, if you also, you can also use the, the picture on the right hand side is if you kind of um, use your fingers to feel where the last rib is in your rib cage, so the one that is the lowest. So just slightly above that is the ultimate love connector. And about one finger above that is the universal love connector. That's the location of the universal love connector and what the universal love connector is. What it does is it actually starts to open your heart. It activates your heart. The part of your heart, it opens up this, um, the heart to start to allow unconditional love in because unconditional love is the currency of being able to connect to energy anywhere beyond your body and also within your body. The, so to connect with anything that is not um, solid, like an, an organ or rib, that kind of things, anything that is subtle energy. When you activate this universal love connector, it actually brings in the unconditional love. It activates that. And it is really you, unconditional love is the glue that binds and allows you to communicate beyond your body. 
within your body and also beyond your body. So that's what the function of the universal love connector is. So let's also activate this point. So let's now go back to this dropping in to your body and just taking a deep breath and let it all go and do a few more of these deep breaths in and then exhale completely and then breathe in deeply again and then let it all go so do a few of these breathing in and breathing out and then start to do five to eight universe universal power center activate universal power supply activate universal love connector activate and repeat this a few more times universal love connector activate repeat it a few more times until you can feel that pulse so it is within your body underneath the rib cage and you would feel that that there is a pulse there five to eight universal love connector activate So now that all three points of the universal power line is activated. So let's do this. Five, two, eight, universal power center, universal power supply, universal love connector, align. Synchronize. Coherent. And just breathe. Just starting to energize this universal power line. And have those three centers to be aligned, coherent, and synchronized. And just breathe into this universal power line for a little bit and just feel the difference, if any. Okay, so come back, everybody. Let's come back. So that's the universal power line. So all three of those, when you activate it, align it, coherent, and synchronize so that those three points kind of act together as one to activate that universal power line. So now, next question is, you know, what can I do? Because, you know, why bother? 
why bother doing something the ultimate power line you can heal yourself so yes so we know why we we should use the ultimate power line but what about the universal power line so what can we do with it so let me bring back this picture and this other one and so what can it do <laughs> there are a couple of things you can do you can actually go home which is where your home planet is and because it, um, so your home home planet, which is, which is the home planet of your soul. Now your body's home planet is obviously Earth. Well, unless you're an alien listening to this, then <laughs> your home planet, your the body's home planet may be somewhere else. But for most people listening to this, your your body's home planet is Earth, but your soul's home planet can be anywhere in the cosmos and you when you can actually when you activate the universal power line you can actually go home you can actually connect to where home your soul's home is so why is it good to go there because you can actually when you go back home is like your the people on your home planet knows you they're going to assist you without you even asking. So you will get a, an, um, another level of healing. It is really spiritual healing when you go home. So that's why it's, it's really a good idea to go home as, um, to you know, every now and then to just go there and recharge yourself spiritually. It, you would just you would feel that difference. Your home planet. The so your soul's home planet has so much to offer you is you can pretty much ask for anything when you're home you it's like you everybody knows you the planet itself knows you they will assist you in whatever it is that you want so that's one of the the, the reason why you want to go home is to really get get that replenishing. It is really like taking a vacation for your soul. So um, as, so that's that's one of the reasons why you want to go home. And then um, you can actually, if there is any um, spiritual issues that you that you seem to be stumped here. You may want to, like, if when you go home, you would have a, actually a different perspective because your consciousness, your, your innate consciousness when you're home is very different. The, the consciousness of Earth it may be at a very different level than the consciousness of where home is for your soul. And when you go home, you get to access that level of consciousness. And it can give you a very different perspective to any sort of spiritual issues that you may feel stumped while you're on earth. So or another very good reason why you would want to visit home. So just, you know, get some reinforcement, get some downloads, um, whatever it is that you feel you need, just go ask there and you will get answers. And at the very least, you would definitely feel replenished. It's like you get um, um, you get to go and drop into something that is so familiar to your soul that it is simply like, it is nourishment to your soul. So that's one of the reason why. We want to use the universal line to go home, get some reinforcement, get, get some new perspective, get some healing, and just go and, and you know, go and um, visit home. The other thing is because the universal line allows you to connect with the, the energetic side of things, uh, anything that is non-physical you can use 
this universal power line. So you can actually use this to um, release any emotions. So let's say if you have a lot of anger that you don't quite know how to release, then activate the universal power line. And then ask the universal power line to assist you in um, letting go of the anger. So once you activate that, because it has a lot of power and knows a lot of things about how to move energy and emotions is really just energy in the body. So when you use this, um, the, the wisdom from the universal power line, you can actually move a lot of energy out that way. And also you can actually, um, use this to connect to let's say things like ancestral um, traumas you can definitely use the universal power line to start to shift that so these are some of the use of the universal power line and if you are really uh, adventurous you can uh, actually use the universal power line to connect to other star planets if you're curious about let's say what's going on um, on mars then then just connect there you, or um you want to you know visit the uh, serious uh, serious b for example then you can connect there you can actually connect to any any star planet that you wish to and just go and take a look at what's happening there so and also because this allows you to connect to anyone anywhere anything you can actually connect with people to do healing work on them um this the universal power line actually um allows you to be able to start doing healing work it's not the only way that you can um, do healing work on others uh, remote healing work on others it's one of the ways now i'm not going to talk about this in any detail at all because i think i'm i'm just introducing this and i really want everyone to do more of that um healing yourself first before you think about healing someone else because if you are not if you really have not healed yourself enough you really don't have that perspective that insight in order to heal someone else um so do the work on yourself first use the ultimate power line heal yourself first and once you have that, you will have actually more perspective on how to heal someone else. Then you can experiment on connecting with other people using the universal power line and sending other people healing this with this. That's why I'm not going to talk about how to do remote healing with this. That's my, um, that's my rationale for it. So healer heal yourself first and then and then think about experimenting on healing other people and what else can you use with this pretty much anything you can think of that is non-physical you can start to connect for example um let's say you want to Oh, um, connect with the energy, the morphic fields. So any morphic fields you can connect to. You can connect to the morphic fields of, let's say, um, of the human collective. And you want to, uh, like, you can do that because it is energy. When you're connecting to the morphic field of the human collective, you are connecting to energy. So the universal power line would allow you to do that. So like it actually 
opens up a lot of things for you to do. If you want to play with the spirit of money, you can also use this. If you want to play with the spirit of a certain virus, for example, you can use this. It, so, like, you can get my gist that you can actually use this to connect with any morphic field and start to transform it. So that is really the, the power of the universal power line. It, it actually gives you a lot of things to play with. And I want to bring up a few things first. It's really, um, I've already mentioned it, is to really practice, practice, practice. First, practice with the ultimate power line because that one allows you to heal yourself allows you to get to know yourself. So do the work on yourself first. Heal yourself, do the work on yourself, and then you can, to, so, so start with the, the, um, the things that you can touch, the things that you can see, which is your body, which is the physical part of you. Once you get good at it, then you can start to, go to the universal power line, which would start to transform your, con your own consciousness as well. Because um, when, you, when you energize the universal power line, it gives you, it expands your awareness to as far as you care to take it. Because everything is energy as I, I think one of the, the principle, the first principle is that every, everything is energy. So the universal power line allows you to interact with energy that is beyond your body. So it actually gives you a lot of power. And, it, and because it's dealing with energy, so you can't, unless you, you can see energy unless you get to that point of being able to see energy and to feel energy, then um, it's first, it's best to just deal with the physical because the physical you actually can touch. You can feel when your liver is working better because then you will actually feel digestion improves. You are not so, um, you don't have a lot, so much anger. You feel different. So those for the physical part of the body, when you work on it, you see the change. You can feel the change. It's verifiable. So when you do that first, it actually builds up your confidence. And then when you move to the non-physical, then um, because you already build up a certain amount of trust with working with this energy, it helps you. And when you start to build a universal power line, when you start to build that, you would actually start to find that your third eye would start to become more active. You would be more perceptive to things that your physical eyes may not be able to see. You may not be able to um, touch energy, but when you start to strengthen the universal power line, your ability to sense, touch, feel, and interact with energy will start to grow. So that is the, the way to them my, that would be my suggestion is to work with the body first, because that's something that you can touch and see. When you've built up your confidence, then go to things that you cannot touch and you cannot see. And also remember that unconditional love is the frequency, is the currency of tapping into the, this side of the of the veil. So unconditional love. And also 
use the universal power to let go of emotions first. Let go of emotions is really the first um, things to do with the universal power line. Because when you, especially if you want to um, go and transform morphic fields or go and um, heal other people is that when you get to the part where you can become um, non-judgmental um, and just when you let go of expectations when you don't have a you know okay I want this person to heal that's actually a very egoic way of approaching healing. Healing, as far as, far as I'm concerned, um, nobody needs healing because we, we choose how we feel by the thoughts we hold on to, by the beliefs we hold on to. Certain people um, have particular kind of illness or particular aches and pain, they created it themselves. So to think that I can just go in and heal someone <clears throat> is, is actually a very um, egoic way, is a very inconsiderate way. It's, it's like you are imposing your will on someone else. Yes, nobody wants to have pain. Nobody wants to be ill. However, our soul and our body use pain and illness to speak with us, to, to train us, to interact with us, to grow our consciousness. Illness and pain is one of the way our soul works with us. And so when you just start to botch in and just heal somebody because you can, that is really not the right approach to it. I would suggest that out of compassion, if you want to help someone, is to actually um, grow, like get to the point where you don't judge the illness. You have no judgment about that you have no expectation as well, whether you succeed or not, because it really is not your decision on whether somebody heal or not. It is their decision. You are simply sending them energy and you are sending them an intention. And it is up to their soul. It is up to their body to receive it and, and make use of it or not. So that's why um, when you let go of emotions, it allows you to get to neutral. It allows you to get to a point of no judgment, no expectation, and you, and you get out of that egoic point of view. That actually, when you, when you start to go from there, when you work from there and you send energy to someone else. It actually helps them a lot more. So that's why um, I would suggest is to release your own emotions, get to neutral. The more neutral you can become, the better healer you can become. Um, and also, when you also, if you want to, let's say, go home, um, home is, is pretty much going to your soul's home planet is a pretty safe place because that's where your soul come from. So that's usually um, a pretty safe place to go to. If you want to connect with other morphic fields or if you want to connect to other star planets, you... Um, if you go in with an attitude, it actually can disturb, it can actually do more harm to um, the morphic fields and also to yourself as well, because you may be able to incur some um, 
karmic repercussions when you when you go in with an attitude whereas if you go in as neutral and you're just there to observe you're just there to um, connect that actually gives you a gives you more power to help if that is your intention and actually gives you more protection because you never know the what's in the morphic field what is um, who else is there and what other intention is within that morphic field or within that planet so some planets may not like you to go and poke your energy in there they may um, they may uh, take issue with it and they may send you some um, feedback that you won't like so much so when you get to neutral then you can actually interact with planets you can act with interact with morphic fields but go in such a way that you won't be um, rejected because when you're neutral um, it's actually much easier to get into the morphic field then when you try to go in with guns in hand and arrows or or axe or whatever it is with you know with with all your um with all your your um warrior energy in it may get you in more trouble than um, you bargained for so really let go of emotions let go of expectations let go of judgments use the universal power line to assist you in getting to neutral the more you can get to neutral the more powerful you are whether it is um, in interacting with with your own environment and or, or also interacting with any environment the most neutral person meaning that you can actually um, access more thoughts without being tied to any particular thoughts your awareness would be the highest and you would have the the most um, ability to shift anything not because you um, you needed to shift it but just because when you observe something the the observer will always change something even when they don't have the um, conscious intention to change something just by your observation just by you tapping into that morphic field is you're already changing it because when you are in neutral the whole universe source including will be able to observe whatever it is that you're tapping into and all those other points of view would be able to observe that event with you at the same time and that can shift and that is so powerful in shifting any particular morphic field that you happen to be looking at so that's really all i would like to share this evening 